Now we invite Dr. Kudlu for uh, his uh, talk on the management of intraoperative uh, applications. Be talking the ends. That will be later. Uh, last talk I will talk before. Only. Okay. Yeah, 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 you can. You can have both the both talks back to back. Back to you can finish no, both because, of them. Uh, Smile, regular talk, let Sonu talks, then I talk on complication. Okay. Makes All sense. Right. Okay. That is the reason Make, I okay. did like Okay. It. Okay. Fine. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll be talking about this uh, talk since quite long period. This is my financial disclosure. I am consultant for uh, Carl Zeiss India. So, what exactly is the presby of here? It's a physiological progressive loss of effect accommodation affecting individual in their middle age regardless of underlying refractive error causing difficulty in sharply focusing for near vision so of course how good press biopic treatment is going to affect your practice this is very very important because most of the uh, patients are now press biopics, especially parents and relatives of LASIK patient who also wants to get rid of the glasses and even nowadays, a lot of patients with the immetropic press waves also coming to us and asking for to get rid of their glasses. So the principles uh, to correct press biopia, one is you can do monovision, you can do multifocality press biopic treatment, or you can think about increased depth of focus, what we used to do in camera inlays, or you can opt for combined approaches. This is the surgical treatment for press biopia. You can tackle sclera by putting scleral implant or laser is procedure cornea you can do press beyond intra core even camera inlays you can lot of my friends are also doing press biopic contact lens practice in the iols i think you got a gadgets of iols more so popular one is it off and trifocals so i'll not be talking this is a principle about the press beyond basically monovision principle depth of field to reduce anisometropia <laughs> spherical aberration control vertex centration of spherical aberration multifocality neural subvision blur adaptation and neural separation what exactly we do in uh, press beyond we make the dominant eye immetropic and make the non-dominant eye myopic by 1.5 adapters with the creating a spherical aberration in both the cornea by doing that we will have a something called blend zone where the image from the dominant and the non-dominant eye meets up and binocularity retains so basically this treatment you have to do the bilateral treatment so coming to the preoperative evaluation who can undergo press beyond any patient in in myopia with a large number of power i have done up to 8.5 adapter depending upon the packy value hypermetropic up to five adapters i have done even I have done more than 200 patients with the immetropic and patient with the astigmatism up to four adapters you do it but make sure that patient don't have the cataract so for refraction all my patients I do I do a cycloplegic refraction then I myself check for the dominant eye testing I'll come back to the later on so history is very very important see all my press biopic laser refractive surgery my chair time is 45 minutes I never give to my counselor I spend with the patient, I ask the, all the history, what medication they are on, what is their expectation, then I really decide whether this patient is suitable for press biopic laser surgery or not. So coming to the uh, pre-op examination, you need to look at the pupil reaction, size of the pupil, see for both corrected and uncorrected distal visual acuity. Then after doing, I think uh, I am not talking about all refractive patient, I think you have to do a proper dry eye workup and uh, do a very good indirect ophthalmoscopy make sure that retina is normal so very important refraction see in spite of lot of uh, optometrists working with me this part i myself do so once i do the refraction both the eye make sure that it is duochrome balanced once it is duochrome balanced then i do how to know the dominant eye so to know the dominant eye make a small aperture in the both the hand together tell him to see for the distant letter then tell him to get those both the hand near to his eye whatever the dominant eye the patient is going to get so you can cross check with by closing each eye then you know that which exactly is his dominant eye once you know that which is his dominant eye then 
the next step is do the micromonovision testing so this is the refraction of the patient for this patient left eye is the non dominant eye i have put a plus 1.5 adapter so with the same correction on i told him to read the near vision if you start reading n5 then with the same correction on i'll tell the patient to see for distance later if you start reading like with the same correction on for distance 66 and near vision n5 these are the patient do really well so oh uh, these are the different test also know the dominance i you can do something called pointing test you can do shooting stimulation or you can do a, a finder hole test also all gives the exact re uh, similar results so most of the patient he have dominant eye we do it corrected for distance non dominant eye for near vision but some patient will have a no clear dominant they will have a alternate dominance these are the patient they are very tricky when you are post them for a press beyond so you have to repeat this test and the documentation is very very important so basically once you do that i think uh, pentacam topography i do have got atlas with the visante uh, ocd from zeiss i think that uh, been helping me for very long period which gives accurate result even post a float and i will compare with the pentacam also once you do with this then next is the software this is very very important so everything will be decided by the software only you, you need not have to enter so uh, this is the one test i do for every patient that is about the eye trace normally in eye trace i look at the dysfunction lens index that means if the dli is lesser than this patient is al already having earlier cataract those patient i will not uh, do the press beyond surgery then you can do the vasca also and uh, enter this vasca report within the uh your crs master this is about the procedure the typical femto the visumax uh, i got visumax 500 the femto with the visumax 500 or 800 the, the one of the best uh, femto machine available in the market so once the femto flap done i think the patient has moved under the excimer mel 80 can be done even with the mel 90 also once the flap done then lift the flap the treatment is similar how you do the uh, any of the lasik treatment the procedure is similar the treatment will plan done by the machine once the treatment done flap is reposited back these are our results i think i'll just take a half a minute sir results the 500 patients in that 270 patient myopia 130 patient hypermetropia and 100 emetropic page what you can see in the result none of the eyes lost more than half a snellen line of vision when compared to the preoperative corrective visual acuity that means whatever the patient had vision before they retained so basically to so all the patient uh, even retain functional stereo acuity no loss of contrast sensitivity this is about the recovery phase the physical adaptation phase and neural adaptation phase so normally patient uh, take within four some of the patient even adapt within a day maximum yeah, some of the patient even took up to four months time so basically uh, this treatment is not depend upon the pupil size you can do a high refractive error all pay, all my patients had a very good intermediate and near vision adaptability is more than 97% so in the end which is the best press biopic option if you compare all the option in the market like multifocal lens corneal lens press b wag supra core i think definitely press band will have a edge over all these treatment probably the best and the safest press biopic treatment available till date once again i thank zeiss also for this opportunity i thank scientific committee for this opportunity thank you all.